up you guys so today's gonna be a tutorial breaking down the watchtower of turkey video so I'm just gonna be explaining all the effects and things you used to make the video but before I start this video I just made a Twitter account so you guys can follow me on there I'm gonna link it in the description okay so let's get started with the video I have on my notepad all the things that he used and the stuff that I want to talk about so yeah okay so one of the main things you probably noticed in the video is that he uses a lot of sound effects and sound design elements so he has a lot of ambience and different sounds to match some of the clips sound design is pretty important in this video because literally every single part of this video like every clip every transition has some sort of sound effect on it okay the second thing that is pretty much used in the entire video is speed ramping so I have a video on how you can do speed ramping in Premiere Pro but yeah, basically every clip is like slowing and then it speeds up. And that's one of the main transitions in this video. But I do know that he used Final Cut Pro to edit this whole video, which is kind of surprising. Cause like, wow, Final Cut Pro can do a lot. <laughs> okay, another technique that he used, which is kind of similar to speed ramping is the transitions where he literally just uses his camera to create movements. Um, and then he can speed it up to make a cool transition so I have a video on how to use your camera to whip and do techniques to create cool whip transitions so yeah he uses a lot of that and also he likes to play his videos in reverse sometimes you can kind of notice that sometimes he reverses the clip another main thing that he used in this video is a lot of hyperlapses so if you don't know what a hyperlapse is it's basically consists of a bunch of pictures that if you combine them together and stitch them it makes like a time lapse but it's like moving around a certain object or something and so I'm gonna link a video in the description that will show you guys how exactly to make a hyperlapse and it's explained a lot better another thing that he used a lot is masking so I have a video on how to mask in Premiere Pro and After Effects so masking is pretty important in this video because a lot of his fast transitions were used with masking and also he used a lot of people to mask out the people to create a transition like a walk by transition and you probably notice there's a bunch of clips in this video that you can barely see it's like there for like 0.2 seconds so yeah he uses a lot of clips very quickly um, and there's a lot of movement in the clips another thing that I notice is that he uses a lot of movement to go and zoom into everything or zoom out to everything so I'm going to show you guys an example basically he makes it so that it keeps zooming in and it creates a cool little movement or he keeps doing it so that it zooms out so yeah and another thing he used in this video is light leaks and um, I have a tutorial on how to make light leaks in After Effects but you can probably find a lot of light leaks on the internet already just by searching light leaks on YouTube or any other site. So yeah. And a special gift for you guys. I kind of made a lot, a little bit inspired by this film. Um, it's not exactly like it. It's just inspired by it because you know this how this video has a sort of like reddish tint to it. I kind of made the LUT so that it had like a reddish look to it. But yeah, it's totally free, so you can download it in the description. So yeah, that's basically me breaking down the entire video. Um, obviously, I'm not showing you guys the exact techniques, but hopefully linking you guys to tutorials will help you out. And yeah, so, so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you ever wanted to consider donating to me, there's a link in the description where you can do that. Please subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.